Welcome to another episode of the D&D Morning Show. We're back at ya. Oh, thank goodness there was no sound effects. Whew! It was a close one. It was going in. Oh, okay. You like the sound effects. I don't know. Maybe our viewers like the sound effects. I would like to know that, actually. <laughs> I would say yes. <laughs> Today, we're talking about... I'm just going to get into it. <laughs> I guess I moved right into it. Let's do it. Today, we're going to talk... We have a quote. A quote. We have a fun fact. It's all jumbled around in my brain up here. We have Max with us as well. I guess we do. Hello, Max. <laughs> Anything you'd like to add to the show? <laughs> oh. Go sit down. We'll be with you in a moment. Go sit good. in the green room. It's <laughs> very good with patience. Yes. <laughs> all right. So we're talking about a fun fact. Fun fact. Then we're going to talk about oils today. Ooh. So cooking oils, not essential oils. And we got a new recipe. And, um, a quote. Hey. <laughs> fun fact. Go to the book. <laughs> I'm going to explain the fun fact today. I'm it's listening. about Drew. And Sometimes Drew, I don't know what she's talking about, like right Drew, now. <laughs> Drew has these mad type of skills. Well, I don't know, like, if they're, like, mad type of skills, but I don't know what they're. Sometimes I'm just sitting quietly. <laughs> right. And Picture I, her quiet. And I hear like in the corner by Drew's desk like <laughs> <laughs> And I look over and I'm thinking what is he doing? But it's just like <laughs> And he's going crazy on the keyboard. In fact, Drew types so much on the keyboard in this mad typing skills, he's worn out some of his keys. <laughs> I, I have. Yeah, well that was actually when I was writing Detox by herself. Yes. And uh, there, you couldn't see the keys anymore. And uh, that's when we decided I'd stop buying less than quality computers. Yes. And we got a nice computer, so. Yeah, but that's the fun side. <laughs> Sometimes fact. I get like inspired and I can't like, I get this tunnel vision and I can't like stop. I'm like. He doesn't stop. And even sometimes I'll call his name or talk to him or try to. Nothing. <laughs> He's just like. Well, you know you get inspired and I can't like stop I'm like no no I'm like don't, don't stop me now I'm going and but it's all quiet you know you hear us <laughs> like a mad typist I picture in my brain like a cartoon with like paper flying just type 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 type, type like an old typewriter type 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 it's a funny cartoon image yeah yeah anyways yeah it's a good one let's get into talking about some oils alright we, we get asked, I would say frequently, about, about oils, quality oils to use, or why we choose coconut oil, why we suggest avocado oil. Da, 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 da. Good topic, great it topic. It is a good topic. Where would you like to start? Oh boy, I don't know. The oils, I suppose oils, we did a show recently, it's either going to be come out before this or after this, um, about sugar. So mm. sugar, not all sugars are created equally, just like oils. Mm. Not all oils are created equally. You know, it was crazy that we were at a health food store and we were talking to this lady this that crazy. designed her, not designed, but she imports her own uh, extra virgin olive oil. And she's been in the industry for years and years and she was telling us some facts. And she said that for a, la like for a company to label their bottles extra virgin olive oil, there only has to be 2% That's it. of extra virgin olive oil. That's it. So she was just talking about how kind of corrupt the industry can be at times and how it's one of the oldest import-export types of products. So the other 98% can be what? It wasn't done. Oh, I'm, I'm just, I get all fired up at this topic because I'm like, how can they do that to us? Yeah, yeah. Like 2% and then we think that we're consuming olive oil. It just got me on this kick where I'm like, no more olive oil, can't trust them. <laughs> Well, that, that is a, a good point. So you have to find the best quality oils or avoid it altogether. Mm. And we don't have too much, we don't use too much oil. We don't use olive oil to cook with. No. And all right, let me get to what Dorothy's question is here. So it's cheaper types of oils, like oils that are going to expire, possibly have. Oh, Max doesn't oh. like that either. Hey, Max. He, is, he is against the, that industry of cheap oils. <laughs> Said that right next. <laughs> next is a country dog. So we're in in town in the city, and if he hears people walk by, he just lets them know he's around. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so with the oils, there are, are they add cheap types of oils like vegetable oils, for example, or uh, um, I'm drawing a blank here. Could it be like those yucky, like hydrogenated oils? I think it could be anything. Mm. So that, <laughs> with a lot of different products, like corn, for example, is usually a cheap type of or lower quality type of product. So they put it in other products to kind of uh, make it last longer, mm. you know, so it, there's more substance. So they add these other cheap types of oils so it lasts longer so they can thin out the, the, the real quality extra virgin olive oils. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's a tough one. Like the olive oil industry is difficult mm -hmm. when you sit, sit across from an expert and they tell you this information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so, it just boggled my mind. But there are some specialty oil shops and stuff that keep popping up. Yeah. Would, they, would the, like those would be more quality, for example, would... Do you agree? Yeah, they would. They would have to be. They would have mm. to be um, better quality, like oils and vinegars mm. as well. They usually come together, yeah. and those are better quality. So I'd pay attention to those. When it comes to oils, especially like olive oils, you want dark container mm. bottles. You don't want clear bottles, and you, you also plastic want bottles. avoid the plastic bottles. Like when a company has a, a clear bottle and it's plastic, it's usually low quality because they're not too concerned about what's inside. <laughs> So they're not protecting it on the outside mm -hmm. with the container. Mm -hmm. So stay away from clear and plastic bottles when it comes to, I would say, any kind of oil. Mm -hmm. uh, but especially olive oils. We don't cook with that. They have, uh, oil, olive oils have a very low smoke point, which means if they get heated up at any at all, they're gonna change, they're gonna change the properties and go rancid mm -hmm. quickly. So if we look at coconut oil, for example, we use coconut oil quite a bit, that can be that has a very high smoke point. So you can stir fry, for example, or you can bake with it, for example. Mm -hmm. So these are the kinds of oils that you can um, use at high temperatures. So, so good quality olive oil would be best on a salad, for example. And then coconut oil is better for cooking with on high temperatures. And another oil that you might want to look at is avocado oil, for example. It's a nice higher quality oil you can use for cooking. Right, higher temperatures. Higher temperature. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty difficult. Like when you look around, there's all kinds of different research and mm. different, of course, different companies release different. So you have to pay attention to the source mm. first of all, and then what they're what the messages they're trying to get across, and hopefully that those two match. Yeah. I mean, personally, like us, we stick stick to cooking in coconut, coconut. oil, and then we usually dri usually drizzle the other oils on top of salads or on top of stir fries after they're cooked. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, what we got next? Are we going to move into our recipe? <laughs> Let's do it. Is that where we're moving into? <laughs> what you got? I'm going to talk about the walnut, well I was processing that, did you see that? <laughs> Mm. Walnut ground beef. Oh, I could use these. You could use them. <laughs> Walnut Ooh. ground beef tacos. <laughs> One of our favorites now. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> we had it years ago when we did, well, a few years ago. I shouldn't talk about it. Years ago, <laughs> back in 19. Anyway, um, when we were doing a vegan challenge. And that's the first time we've had it. Had it, and we just had it that once. And then a little while ago, I was like, what about? Because we're looking for a separate idea. So if you got her finger, when she gets her finger out, look out. I even dance with the finger sometimes. <laughs> she does. So this recipe, let's get back to the recipe. Super quick and easy. It's so easy. Tell them. I'm sure they're waiting. I shouldn't tell him. I should tell you guys. <laughs> Chop up your walnuts. It's nice in a blender. Just you don't want them fine like a uh, powder or a flour. Don't chop them up that or blend them up that thin. You still want them a bit chunky, like a ground beef consistency. And then in your pan, put a little bit of coconut oil and saute them. And you can put some spices in there. We put a little cumin, uh, salt, pepper, a little spices in there. And then sometimes we even put like uh, what's that tamari sauce. Mm -hmm. in there as well to give it a little flavor. Not always, but sometimes. And then so you cook that up. It doesn't take long at all. You, and you want it to be really low, low temperature because you don't want to affect the properties of the, of the nuts because they're very, very nutritious. So if, if <laughs> you, sensitive. If, sensitive, yeah. If you cook them too high heat, it'll ruin all of those nice yeah. nutrients. You're not really cooking them. You're more like no, heating them up. You're heating, heating the them. flavors together. Mm -hmm. It's very, very quick, five minutes maybe. Then 
You could use a wrap, like a, a pita wrap or a tortilla wrap, but we've been really into lettuce wraps. So what we do is we take the lettuce wrap, the romaine lettuce wrap, we put some of the taco or the ground beef, walnut, no, darn it, the walnut ground beef. <laughs> That tell you just to stay away from those things. I like, like really want to get them. <laughs> okay. And then you use your romaine lettuce leaf as the as the wrap the boat. Put your ground ground beef huh, in the middle, <laughs> and then you can load it up with all kinds of veggies. We put green onions. What else? Tomatoes. What else? We well, put anything, salsa. Any, yeah, anything you want to put tomatoes. on a, a taco, for example, like mm -hmm. avo avocado, okay. salsa, cilantro, lemon, anything mm -hmm. you would you normally put on, this is exactly what you will put on a, your taco mm -hmm. or and, wrap. And we make, uh, we've been making a cheese sauce for it, a nutritional yeast cheese sauce to drizzle on top as well, yeah. which is also super easy. You, uh, you, there's a few different ways you can make a nutritional yeast cheese sauce. But the simplest way, one of the easier ways, is to just on the stove on low, put some almond milk, put a bunch of nutritional yeast in some mustard, some pepper, and you just mix that till it gets a bit thick, It'll thicken up. Yeah, put there a little, you go. put a little, we put some, I threw in some Complete Truth Protein to thicken it up. Thicken it up. Mm -hmm. nice. And then you just drizzle that on top, and wow! Talk about flavor. <laughs> yeah, they're delicious. so delicious. And they're so quick and easy. Like we have it twice a week sometimes. Like, hey, what do you want? Like we get a big bag of almonds and walnuts. Sorry, walnuts, and then you have that ready to go. It's mm -hmm. oh, there's Maxie again. <laughs> that was my fault, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end with the quote. What you got? Are we for ready us? to end? Let's do it. Okay. Be this is the quote. Be the best you can be, and everything else will fall into place. Very nice. So true, it. isn't it? Yeah. If you work, I think if you, at any rate, if you work on yourself, then like everything else, it doesn't matter. You know what yeah. I mean? Like everything else just seems to fall in place. You focus on yourself, on what you, you need to do and have to do, and the rest will work itself out. Mm -hmm. Yes. The hey, end. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> thanks for listening, and we'll catch you on the next show. See you on the next one.